So, you know, just moving on to like your status as this award winning hairstylist, right? I, I love that. I love saying it because I don't know too many award winning people. Right. Um, but the fact that again, you know, you're you're from this community, again, you have the mindset to, to still keep your business within a community, like you're community based, right? right? But at the at the same time, you're a you're celebrity, right? So <laughs> How do you, I guess, how do you balance that? And, and I really also want to kind of get into, like, how did you even get this title of, like, award-winning? Like, where did that come from? How did you, you know, what, what took you there? Okay. So I've always been a competitor from, um, from uh, high school in cosmetology. You know, we, any competition I would join in, my creativity was always kind of wild beyond the chair. So, um, going to the hair shows, I always saw the work and it was like, I want to do that. I want to do it. So competitions all over Brooklyn, originally all the hair shows in Brooklyn, um, I would be in them and compete, compete, compete and win and win and win. And then, um, from there I traveled out to Atlanta, Georgia, where like the bigger hair shows, Bronner mm -hmm. Brothers, Orlando, Florida, premier show, um, even Jacob Javis Center here in New York city. I would compete in the hair competitions there and I would win, win, win. Now I have um, fellow hairstylists. We, there was a one competition that happened, I don't know, um, like six competitions per day for a three-day weekend, twice a year. And myself and a few other hairstylists like Derek J. I'm not sure if you know mm -hmm. Derek, Derek J, JJ, um, so many of us um, compete on these stages and we've gone to so many levels because competition don't doesn't always mean that you lose or you yeah. win. You're a winner regardless because even put, putting yourself on a platform in front of people and um, finding the guts to do it, mm -hmm. know how to do it, um, just it just sharpens your tools and it, it makes you, it's, it's almost like exercising, you mm -hmm. know, stronger in your craft. So when I, when I could um, compete in front of, 5,000 of my peers and win or 5,000 of my peers and lose what's four or five clients in my salon. You know, yeah. I press them easy. I impress five <laughs> peers, you know, other hairstylists who could judge me harder than any client, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, I won a lot of competitions and that's why they, they entitled me stylist of the year a few times <laughs> and award winning. 